Hello. So in this video, we like to to see how can we derive season from the month. I told you there is no function for the season. We have to write it down. We have to write that formula. Uh, the category that we have in our mind is that I'm going to say month one, which is January, November, and December. I'm going to put these three months in winter. Put two, three, four in the month of spring. 5, 6, 7 in summer and 8, 9, 10 in the fall. Uh, how can I write this if, right? There are so many if. Um, and then you can come up with different algorithm or flowchart. Flowchart is actually uh, is going to be like a visual representation of the logic. What would be the logic that we want to uh, consider? And the logic that I want to consider in this case is that if I'm going to do the first if, so in this case, I'm going to check into the I2. So I2 is this one, right? If the I2, if the I2 is equal to 1, 11, and 12, one of these three, I'm going to call that winter. So otherwise, if it's no, I'm going to do the second if, right? So everything which is winter is already out. Otherwise, if that number is less than 5. Why I picked 5? Because already 1, 11, and 12 are gone if they are winter. If it's less than 5, that will be spring, right? Otherwise, if it's less than 8, that will be a summer. If it's not a summer, it's a fall. That's it. So this is called nested if. So you are checking one, then you're checking twice, then you're checking with the rest of them, right? It's the example of you have different sieves that you are filtering them through. Uh, first, again, let me, let me just to to write the first function. So I'm going to say that equal to if I, again, I want to check three things, right? In the, in the, in the other video, I talk about or. Or will be a function that allow us to do multiple check. Or I2, which is this one, I'm going to click on the I2. If I2 is equal to 1, comma, I2 is equal to 11, comma, I2 is equal to 12. If any of these three conditions are there, remember to close the parentheses after the or. If any of these three is that, I'm going to call this winter. That's it. So if it's not, what would, what would happen? If it's not there, that would be non-winter, right? Not winter. I can have just, I'm done with my if. <laughs> if it's winter, it's not winter, right? So I'm going to say season here. So again, if I double click here and I check on my formula, it go winter, 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 coming down. Again, I'm still in, in the months of two. Again, from the months of three, say from the months of two, from the months of February, say not winter. So I could have my code like this, but if it's not winter, what it is, right? Everything which is one, 11 and 12, they already in the winter. Let me scroll down all the way down. So you can see, the months of 12 and months of 11 are already winter, and the rest of them are not winter. So instead of not winter, I can put another if function in there, right? So uh, let's do that. Let's go all the way to the top. So control and home bring you to the top of your uh, page. So I'm going to go there and then double click on the formula I have here on the first one, on L2, right? And then where I have not win non winter, I'm going to just take that one out of there. I'm going to say if. So I'm going to delete that parenthesis too. If, it's going to be my second if. Go to the I2. If I2 is less than 5, and then, then call that a spring. So I'm going to call this a spring, and then parenthesis close. Let's move on, right? If I2, if parenthesis open, if I2 is less than 8, I'm going to call that summer. Otherwise, I'm going to call that fall. OK, how many parentheses do I need to close? One for this if, one for that if. It's going to show you. OK, I'm almost done. I'm done with my parentheses because I open three parentheses for three if, and I close all three. Remember, for the or is already closed. So I press Enter. So this will return winter. And then if I double click and move down. So once the months become February, I'm sure that's going to change to spring, right? It did change to spring in the month of February. 
I can move down more. You can use the page down button just to go down more. Okay, I got to somewhere in the month of five and then uh, move on for the rest of them. Let's do control home common up. So um, this is how we get from the month to the season using nested if. Repeating that if you want to see the function again, that's how the the formula for it look like. You can type in this formula and then that will give you the answer. So the, 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 the whole lecture here is that if you have numerical from numerical, you like to get to categorical, you can use the if formula to make that happen. In this case, you can use multiple ifs in a row. Thank you for watching.